Hey guys, so after the last video about these bedside tables, I had a few people interested in this lamp, specifically the laser cutter I used to make it. The one I got is only a cheap laser cutter off eBay. It's, I got mine on sale, but you can usually get them for around $500, sometimes less. Now, it is only a 40 watt laser cutter, which means it doesn't really cut through really thick materials. So I thought, I haven't really tested what it can cut through. This is a great opportunity to do it. Let's have a look at it. So before I show you guys the laser cutter, I thought I'll show you how I actually make the files that I'm laser cutting. For these coasters, I use 96 millimeter page size with a four millimeter grid. I draw all the lines as three millimeter black lines. Simply use the paint bucket tool to create a red outline of 0.1 millimeters around the whole thing. I save it as a laser cut file using an add-on for Inkscape I found and then import it into the laser cut program. With any new piece of material, you have to do some test cuts to work out what sort of settings you need to get through it. This is some 6mm birch, and here I'm doing a couple of cuts, increasing the power and slowing down the speed each time. It really pushed the limits of what this laser can do. I run it at 90% power, and as little as I think 2.5mm per minute doing this testing. You can see this didn't even release all of the cuts. To prevent the scorching on the top, you put down a layer of tape, uh, it means any scorching that happens, you can see here, burns the tape instead of the wood itself. This is sped up quite a bit, and even cutting it, I think this might have been 3mm per second, didn't get through, so I had to do another run over at a higher speed to try and loosen off all the cuts. After that, it still hadn't cut all the way through, so I went back with a Stanley knife over the back of it, and this took ages to get through some of the smaller parts. So once the masking tape's removed, it leaves a nice fresh wood look, which contrasts really nicely against the scorched edges inside the cuts. I tried to do it so it would run in a single cut, but even at 2mm per second at almost 100% power, it still wasn't cutting all the way through. I've got a 12 volt pump I pulled apart quite a while ago, with a nice rubber hose connector, a little junction on the end. I'll eventually try and set that up in there, but it's going to work out how I'm going to attach it. In the meantime, I'm going to try something else in the machine, some acrylic. I've only ever cut wood so far, so let's see how the acrylic goes. Again with the new material, I've got to do a couple of test cuts. So here I am slowing the speed down with each cut. It's running at 50%, which is a good baseline to cut at. So eventually I worked out the right amount to cut, and there we go, it drops through nicely. Now it does look like it leaves a little bit of scorching around the edges, but it turns out this was just the edges of the plastic protective sheet that's on it. Once removed, it's a really nice finish. However, you can see at the very bottom of this that the cut is not exactly straight down, it is a little bit beveled. Next up, I tried to switch to some scrap MDF that I have. It's only 3mm thick. But this one, I happened to get the right cut the first time. You can see that even finishing the cut, it still holds in place, but a little bit of a tap and it drops through. The main thing I wanted to test here was in setting a piece, and it worked nicely. You can see how the light shines through the blue material and gives a really nice glowing effect. This is something I want to use in a future project. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely happy with how I'm managing to cut the 6mm uh, poplar and the acrylic. I'm going to do some more work on it, mainly add a water assist, probably rebuild the whole exhaust system. Uh, I might put another video up when I get through all that, but in the meantime, thanks for watching.